the Range Rover is Land Rover's flagship. End of story, case closed, no discussion, full stop. But to me, its most interesting vehicle is this, the Range Rover Sport, which marries the capability of the Discovery with the luxury of its big brother, and it adds a huge dose of sportiness. And for Land Rover, it's also a pretty important vehicle. That's what makes this, the arrival of the third generation Range Rover Sport, such a big deal. We're gonna take a look, but before we do that, be sure to follow and subscribe to the MotorOne.com YouTube channel. So as you can see, the Range Rover Sport has a very evolutionary approach to design. Designers smoothed out the fascia, the headlights are slimmer. You have a slimmer grille too that's kind of closed off. It's a very attractive look, but it's not my favorite angle. For that, you gotta come around to the side. This is chiseled and simple, but there's a lot of elegance here. I love the chamfering up here and the way that it kind of overlaps and gives these windows a seamless look. You get pop-out door handles just like you do on other Range Rover products. And around back, you get new LED taillights and a very crisp tail that reminds me of the new full-size Range Rover. This is a very attractive vehicle. It's arguably more attractive than the one that came before. Land Rover's evolutionary design approach extends to the cabin, but despite that, there's still some pretty substantial changes. But what I'm gonna start with are the materials because they are so much better and they were pretty damn good in the first place. This first edition model gets this really neat carbon fiber reinforced plastic trim and these beautiful cloth accents on the doors. You get a very touch intensive cabin, but they got rid of the secondary lower touch screen. The new Pivi Pro infotainment system now has a haptic motor, just like the full-size Range Rover. And you get this new instrument cluster that kind of tilts up and away from the driver. It's very elegantly integrated. There's not really so much a cowl anymore as it's just kind of stuck there. I love that. I'm also a huge fan of these seats. Now, Range Rover seats have always been comfortable, but these have much better padding and much better support. I could easily spend five, six, seven, eight, nine hours off-roading in these chairs, I would be totally, totally happy. It is a great looking cabin, but there is one piece of bad news. There will no longer be a seven passenger Range Rover Sport. For that, you've got to step up to the full size Range Rover. Land Rover said that it just wasn't quite popular enough to keep it around. So this is a five seat only affair from now on. The 2023 Range Rover Sport starts at about $83,000 for a turbocharged six cylinder model. There is also a plug-in hybrid, and as I said, a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8. Deliveries are slated to start later this year, late summer, early fall, but you can place an order for yours right now. We'll have much more on this in the coming months, but for now, this is the 2023 Range Rover Sport, and we are super excited about its arrival.